I am in Minehead, which is on the North Somerset coastline. Our club site is just behind me on the top of that hill, which means when you're pitched up, you get views of this great beach and the town. Now being in Somerset from a neat local point of view is a gift. It's a primarily rural county, so you've got great pasture lands and dairy, which equals really good cheeses. And of course, being Somerset, there's a lot of good cider. I'm going to a farm shop, which is not that far from our club site to uh, see what they've got. This is Stuart Lowen's farm shop in Minehead. It's just a few minutes drive from our site. If you're coming to get your shop for your camping trip, you have to come here. This is gonna give you a real flavor of the West Country and in particular, a flavor of Somerset. I love this place. It's got a bit of everything. You've got fresh milk that you can bring your own bottle, zero waste section. This is where you're gonna get a proper taste of the West Country. So I'm actually with Stuart Lowen and I'm going to ask him a little bit about this great butchery. I'm interested in doing some lamb on my barbecue. So tell me, where does your lamb come from? Right, well, all the lamb is sourced locally, yeah. but the majority of the lamb is actually, if you take the caravan site and go yeah. behind it a couple of fields, yeah. that's where it's sourced. So all over on Exmoor? So it's all in the area. Yeah. Why do we need to travel any further to get great produce? It's here on the doorstep. Everybody seems to love dinner on a stick when the barbecue comes out. So I'm going to use the lamb I've bought to make some lamb kebabs. I'm going to do a little bit of a Greek twist. So I'm going to serve it on flatbread, but make a feature of using aubergine. Bit of a divider aubergine some people hate it i absolutely love it it's brilliant on in curries and tagines but slice it generously douse it in oil and put it on the barbecue grill and you'll be rewarded i'm actually going to do something different though so to prepare the aubergine take a skewer and pierce it all over to pop your aubergines just on a grill don't put any oil on the skin and the idea is to over the course of about half an hour keep an eye on them and keep turning them over and you want the whole skin to blacken and the flesh inside then takes on a really beautiful smoky flavour which we're going to use to spread on the flatbread. In terms of eat local it's quite fitting that I'm cooking lamb here on our lovely Minehead site. I've got the North Somerset coastline behind me but in front of me and just a quick walk away is Exmoor National Park and you'll see all the sheep grazing the lovely wild herbs, wild grasses and heather there, which makes the meat really, really tasty. I'm going to dice the lamb. They're leg steaks for about four people. I've got about 500 grams. The other thing to do in the first half of this recipe is to soak your skewers. Now, I use wooden skewers when I'm uh, cooking lamb. And when I'm cooking something like chicken, I'll use a metal skewer and that's because chicken I really need to make sure it's cooked all through the middle and the metal heats up and cooks the meat from the inside out whereas lamb you just need to kind of give it a hint of heat on the grill just so you can keep it moist and a little bit pink inside but you need to soak the wooden ones first that way they're not going to burn on the barbecue. Right, I'm just going to check on these turn them a couple of times that's looking good I know they look burnt, but that's what we want. So I'm going to turn that off now. So for the marinade, I'm going heavy on the garlic. I've got five cloves of garlic, so just finely chop. And then I'm also using a red chilli. So I'm using half here. And then just pop that into the lamb. And then a heaped teaspoon of cumin. Generous sea salt going in there. And then for the liquids, about two tablespoons of rapeseed oil. You can use olive oil. And a little bit of red wine vinegar and my new favorite specialist ingredient, pomegranate molasses. And it works really lovely with lamb. You could put it in sparkling water, sparkling wine, drizzle it on ice cream, or just wipe it on a steak and put that on the barbecue. Once you've given that a good shake, pour it onto the lamb. I'm just going to thread that about five pieces to each stick. Add a little bit of uh, lemon. I think char grilled lemon always has a lovely flavour to it, especially if you're serving something like lamb. So pop those on. 
another three or four minutes and we'll plate up. Lamb is done. Just gonna warm those and while they're warming, I'm just gonna open up these aubergines and get my ready-made aubergine dip. Spread your aubergine all over your flatbread. Plenty of fresh herbs. Use fresh herbs almost like salad. And I'm gonna put a little bit of feta cheese on. Crumble that across. Spicy chili and the absolutely wonderful deep flavour of the lamb that's been soaking in that pomegranate molasses. Now I'm pleased with that. That's a very tasty looking lamb and aubergine flatbread and I'm gonna just put a little bit of that char grilled lemon juice on.